me to just tell the joker? Okay. The pessimist thinks that a glass is half empty. An optimist thinks that a glass is half full. But an engineer just thinks that the glass is twice as big as it needs to be. <laughs> What happens if you go all the way? My name is Josiah Roberts. I'm 21 years old. I was homeschooled all the way through high school. M my mother taught me the majority of what I know. Hi, Mom! <laughs> um, <laughs> I wasn't really sure of myself, so I decided that I'd rather start off at a community college where I could see what my potential was. And I ended up deciding that I wanted to be a mechanical engineer. That ain't no 19 inches. <laughs> so we have three-fourths of an inch that it can stick over, so where are we going to mount it to? Are we going to mount it to one of these cross braces? The major function of the chair is to raise up to transfer a patient in and out of bed with minimal effort to the caregiver and the patient. There we go. It's a wheelchair that will be able to transfer a patient from their wheelchairs to their beds. The major reason is why we're building this chair is not only for the patient, but it's for the caregivers because there are nurses or medical professionals that are constantly transferring patients in and out of bed from wheelchairs, and there are many injuries. In the fall of 2009, there's this program that's starting up, and they want engineers from community colleges all over Connecticut. <laughs> This particular project is part of a National Science Foundation funded grant that's part of the Advanced Technology Education Initiative. We're really proud in Connecticut to be the recipient of funding that has established a center for next generation manufacturing and the project Like the Life Support and Sustainable Living really is a supporting initiative. The Solo Transfer Wheelchair Project was one of the projects that LSSL had given to us. LSSL is the Life Support and Sustainable Living Program. It's basically a collaboration of the community colleges and other universities in Connecticut where the engineering students will get together in groups and work as teams to complete projects. Leadership has to come from community colleges. I think it gives you a real leg up as whether you decide to pursue a job immediately after your associate's degree, go on to a four-year university, or maybe do a combination of both. You start off in high school and you're like, am I ready for college? It's gonna go on top here. A am I smart enough? What is my potential? Am I ready for a job? Can I actually work at a company? Can I design a part if it's placed in front of me and they say to design it? We try to simulate an actual on the job experience. It helped me get a little more comfortable with my actual knowledge, my ability. Because there was nothing out there similar to this project, we had to come up with our own method of doing this. How are we stop this room from sliding in half? We started to actually come up with designs on SolidWorks. Two end posts for the screws. I've been known to miss meals, to forget about life, forget about events that were happening just because I was so focused on working on the project and, work, and getting the model to actually work. Once you get started in it, it just sucks you in and you just want to see it finished. Almost 100% of the community college students that have participated in this program have gone on to matriculate into four-year degrees. After I finish up this semester at Naugatuck Valley Community College, I've been accepted into Central Connecticut State University into the Mechanical Engineering Technologies Program. Going through this project, it's given me the ability to realize that, hey, I can come up with a design, I can work as a team, I can do all these things, and it's really giving me a better focus on what my true potential is. Or, wait, yeah, okay. Most people think that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers think that if it ain't broke, it doesn't have enough parts. 